Hi everyone, welcome back to the cookbook kitchen. So guys, have you explored recipes from this cookbook, Everyday Law Lecting Cookbook or this particular website called Creative in My Kitchen? You might have noticed that some of the recipes use tiger nut flour, but finding it in stores can be a real challenge, right? Well, don't worry, I've got you covered. All you need is some tiger nuts and I'll show you how to make your own tiger nut flour at home. Welcome to today's video. So these are my tiger nuts. All we need to do is I'm going to put some water. So once I've put in the water, I'll put this in the fridge overnight and in the morning we'll continue to the next step. So we are back. It's the next morning. And I've already removed my tiger nuts, as you can see, from the fridge. So let me show you the next step. So the next thing, we are going to blend the tiger nuts. I've put some water in my blender. So I'll remove the tiger nuts. I'll add some more water, like that. And then we blend. This is how it looks like. So we are going to strain. We remove the milk. I'm going to use, have this bowl. And I have this strainer. I'll put it down there. Then I'll use this kitchen towel like that then I pour my mixture there now let's look at it yeah. So the aim is to remove the water ah, like that. That's what we have left. I'll put them here on the tray. Then I'm going to put them out in the sun. So we want it to dry completely. You can put it in the oven. I've never dried them in the oven. I usually use the sun, especially right now it's very sunny in Nairobi. So we are taking advantage of the sun like that. So I want to put it outside that it can dry. I think I'll use two trays with this one because you need to spread it widely. So here they are. I'll put them outside on this table. You can see the sun is out, it's a sunny day. So we let them dry. If they don't dry completely today, I'll just take them inside the house with a tray and then tomorrow I'll put them out again in the sun. The aim is for them to dry completely. So here we are two days later and this is what we are looking for. It needs to be very, very dry. So for the final step so that we can get our tiger nut flour, I'm going to use a spice grinder. This is what I usually use. And once I'm done, I like oh lot. Why is it not open? I like putting it in a sieve. Tiger nut flour can be used to make delicious gluten-free recipes like these gluten-free pumpkin muffins. They are low carb and tiger nut cookies. All the recipes are in my channel. Check them out. And let me know in the comment section how you, you use your tiger nut flour and uh, how you make your own if you don't have tiger nut flour where you live. So guys, there you have it. This is our homemade tiger nut flower. Bye-bye and God bless.
this. You.